As Bronx Heights continue to deal with an uptick in crime, we start with community news. New anti-crime cameras have been installed in the Throgs Next section of the Bronx. Our Bronx Net reporter Brittany Scala Arbain brings us the details. In the Throgs Next section of the Bronx, new anti-crime cameras have been installed in its business improvement district. The NYPD says the cameras will be installed to curb the ongoing illegal activity in the neighborhood. Since we're now watching you, we'll, we will be getting rid of you. Bob Jean, executive director of the Throgs Net Bid, acknowledges that the area is on the safer side. However, with the recent increase in illegal smoke shots, dumping, and even speeding, they want to put an end to the situation before it becomes too dangerous to handle. Don't ever underestimate what an illegal process can bring to a beautiful neighborhood. It's like a cancer. It's like a fungus. You don't get rid of it, it grows. Although the exact location of these cameras cannot be disclosed, Johnny Orleana, NYPD Deputy Inspector, mentioned the dozens of security cameras installed within the last month are spread out on East Tremont from Bruckner Boulevard to Miles Avenue. We have the most sophisticated now, and we have more coming, but we have the most sophisticated, upgraded Argus camera system in the borough, if not the five borough. Reporting for BronxNet, Brittany Schuyler. And thank you, Brittany. In other news, the Bronx Night Market celebrates its fifth active year as being a part of Bronx Week, bringing together thousands of attendees to celebrate the borough's culinary scene and spirit. Our BronxNet reporter, Chris Camillo, is there with more details. The Bronx Night Market is a flagship event of the annual Bronx Week. And this year, it's taken over the Grand Concourse, showcasing the best of the borough's culinary scene and spirit. With a lineup of over 50 local vendors and live music, this iconic market brings in thousands of guests each year, making it a thriving hub for community engagement and exploration of the best of the Bronx. Residents and visitors pass one another in two-way lanes down Grand Concourse, savoring the flavors, cultures, and entrepreneurial spirit. What a day, what a blessing to be able to be part of this Bronx Week event, selling my food at the Bronx Night Market, here on the Grand Concourse, right up the block from Yankee Stadium, selling traditional Puerto Rican frituras. This one I have right here is called the bacalaito, better known as a codfish fritter. You find these at the kioscos at the beaches in Puerto Rico or at Mia's Cocina. Take a look. The market is a transformative force, constantly revolutionizing the food scene and cultivating a deep connection to the identity of the Bronx. Even New York representatives such as Landon Days are in attendance, highlighting the importance of supporting local businesses and celebrating the community's creativity. The Bronx is open for business. It's a beautiful place. Come shop at our businesses. Come to Joyce Kilma Park. Enjoy our festivities here in the Bronx because the Bronx is beautiful. Beyond its far variety of cuisines and vendors, the Bronx Night Market serves as a dynamic platform for local businesses. The current setting, District 16, sets the stage for this year's festival, part of NYC Councilmember Althea Stevens' revitalization process, which she says events like this reflect the success of the project. This event means community. As folks know, if you come out right now, it's a beautiful day. It's a lot of activity. Like I said, there's a band, there's good food. We have the park right here. So families should definitely come out and have a great time. With so many vendors and organizations showing up today, it's really a reminder of just how huge this borough is. This is a rich representation of diversity found only here at the Bronx Night Market. Reporting from Bronx Net, I'm Chris Camella. Now, Chris knows he's dead wrong for that. We don't do that at the beginning of the show when we've got a whole lot of show ahead of us. We do that at the end of the show so we can do it all together. That's a lesson for you, Chris. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Listen, that's all the time we got for our Bronx updates. We got to take a quick break, but guess what? We got more open when we return. <laughs> 